Little Negan, little Negan. Okay, Chavar Basia to the Shema, let's fire it up. <laughs> a little niggin, a little niggin. Stand up. Open up our hearts. We're in Sichot Aram 37, the power of faith in the Tzaddik. I feel like we've been speaking about faith for a while. Um, and faith, I feel like, can never, the discussion of faith, uh, the process and the work towards faith is never, never enough, is never done. It's never quite done. It's never finished. Um, atheism is called a burden, says Rabbi Nachman. On the verse in Devarim, how can I alone bear your encumbrance in your burden? Rashi explains that burden refers to the fact that there were non-believers among the Jews in the desert. When a person travels to Tzaddik, says Rabbi Nachman, he casts aside this heavy burden. Because traveling to Tzaddik is an act of faith, the opposite of unbelief. So we'll see what this means in a moment. This is the commentary of Ritzvi Ari Rosenfeld. Rabbeinu Zal says that one who is an apicorsis, one who carries the weight of atheism, is carrying a very heavy burden. It weighs a person down. By the way, it's, uh, it's uh, recommended to go back. I, forget, I even forget the days already. Maybe it was yesterday, two days ago, where we spoke about serving Hashem through the atheism. Serving Hashem through the atheism. It was a teaching from Shlomo by brings down by um, the rabbi of uh, Rabbi Alexander. I don't know which one, um, which Rabbi Alexander it was, but it, amazing, amazing piece. Wow, amazing. But it weighs us down. What happens when a person merits going in the right direction and visits the Tzadik Atmos? When he goes to learn the Torah, to hear the words of the Tzadik Atmos, the first thing that happens to him or her is that they remove this yoke of heaven, uh, this yoke from their shoulders. When he removes this weight and this burden, he feels light again. This is when we visit the Tzadik. This is when we collaborate with each other. This is when we meet on Zoom together. All of our faces, all the, all the cameras are on. When he removes this weight and this burden, he feels light. The fact alone that he go he's going makes him feel lighter. When he chooses to go to shul and learn, that decision alone removes the api courses from him, the, the disbelief from us. His mind becomes purified and he becomes much lighter again. So Chavra, there's a lot going on here, but I saw this quote that I just want to share. I literally saw it right before we, we came on. It read from Rabbi Svi Hirsch of Rimenov. He says, I was taught the trade of a tailor and I learned to put it to good use. Careful to fix what was old and not to ruin what was new. So, Chavar, this is the power of the tzaddik. When we go to the tzaddik, the tzaddik fixes what was old, takes all the dirt, and mamish purifies it. This is the vote of the tzaddik. They're a tailor. Then he takes us in that present moment, and he does not ruin that. Rather, he takes it and elevates it and, and, and um, just lights it on fire, lights it on fire uh, for the rest of... Uh, the rest of days. So that, that's the vote of the tailor. It's, it's such a strong line. Rasvi Hirsch of Rimanov, I was taught the trade of a tailor. I learned to put it to good use, careful to fix what was old, and not to ruin what was new. A renewed faith. The tzaddikim cultivate it. They don't ruin it. And that's the power of going to the tzaddik. Lamaisa, in, in our lives, we should just surround ourselves by good people. We should have... Um, good conversations with people, seek out good points within people and seek out good points within ourselves and uh, uncover that tzaddik that's hidden within ourselves or maybe even revealed on ourselves. Um, but really look at it more and more. So Chavra, questions, comments before we go. Fire in the crib. 
I'm on so good to see. I was literally just looking at the wedding videos you showed me and, and pictures. Beautiful. So I literally mom is right before that. And also the, the quote that I just saw by the tailor. <laughs> so good. <laughs> so strong. Nice. Yeah, it's a good time. You guys are great. You guys are tomorrow. I'll see you. Fire Wednesday. The Kalas. Yeah. So strong. Making them tomorrow morning. So strong. Okay. I'm so excited to have them. All right. Have a be well. Fired up. Yeah, I like Jack. Thanks. Bye.